Have you ever felt like you were being used by someone close to you? It's an unsettling feeling that can leave us questioning our relationships and our own judgment. If you've ever experienced this, you're not alone. Before we dive into today's topic, I want to ask you something. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you felt like you were being taken advantage of by someone you trusted? Maybe a friend, a partner, or a colleague? It's a tough spot to be in, but recognizing the signs can help us navigate these challenging dynamics. In today's video, we're going to explore five signs that indicate you might be in a one-sided relationship, and here's the twist. We'll be examining these signs through the lens of Stoic philosophy. Stoicism offers timeless wisdom that can guide us through modern-day challenges, including identifying when we're being used by others. So, if you've ever questioned whether someone is genuinely invested in your well-being or simply using you for their own gain, stay tuned as we uncover the five telltale signs, Stoicism style. Let's embark on this enlightening journey together. Welcome to the Abyss of Wisdom. We've all been there, feeling like we're giving way more than we're getting back. But what if there was a way to spot these situations early on? Enter Stoicism an ancient philosophy that's all about building resilience and managing emotions. You might be surprised, but Stoicism has some powerful tools that can help you navigate relationships and identify when someone's taking advantage of your good nature. So buckle up. In this video, we'll be exploring five signs you're being used by someone, all through the lens of Stoic wisdom. Let's learn how to protect ourselves and build healthier connections. Let's face it, being used by someone can be a total drag. It leaves you feeling emotionally drained, like you're constantly giving and never receiving. You might even start questioning your own judgment or feeling guilty for wanting to step back. But here's the thing. Healthy relationships shouldn't leave you feeling depleted. They should be places of mutual respect and support. That's why recognizing the signs of being used is so important. By understanding the red flags, we can protect ourselves and build stronger more fulfilling connections. So what are these red flags? Stick around as we explore the five signs you're being used by someone, all based on the principles of Stoicism. Sign one. The one-way street. All right, let's jump into our first sign, the one-way street relationship. This happens when the giving goes completely in one direction. Yours. Think about it. Are you constantly the one making the effort to see this person? Do you always reach out first, listen to their problems, or offer help? What about them? A healthy relationship is a two-way street. Sure, sometimes one person might need more support than the other. But overall, there should be a balance. If you feel like you're constantly pouring your energy out with nothing coming back, that's a red flag. Remember, Stoicism teaches us about fairness and reciprocity. In a good relationship, both people should be willing to contribute and support each other. Stay tuned as we explore more signs of being used. Sign two, the fair weather friend. Now let's move on to sign number two, the fair weather friend. This describes someone who only seems to be around when they need something from you. You know the type. They blow up your phone needing a favor, a shoulder to cry on, or maybe even some cash. But once their crisis is over, poof, they vanish without a trace. This kind of behavior can be really confusing. It makes you feel like you're only valuable for what you can offer, not for who you are as a person. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of reason and clear judgment. Think about it. Would a true friend consistently take advantage of your kindness? Probably not. Real friends are there for you through thick and thin, not just when it's convenient for them. So next time someone disappears after getting what they want, Take a step back and consider the bigger picture. Are they someone who truly values your friendship, or are they just using you for their own gain? Sign three, the guilt tripper. Now let's explore sign number three, the guilt tripper. This is someone who manipulates your emotions to get what they want. Imagine this. You have plans with a friend, but you really need some me time. You politely try to reschedule, but suddenly your friend starts laying on the guilt. They might say things like, oh, so you don't even care about me anymore. Or I guess I'm just not important enough for you. These kinds of statements are designed to make you feel bad about setting boundaries. A true friend would respect your needs and be willing to compromise. 
Stoicism teaches us about emotional control. Being manipulated by guilt is a surefire way to lose control of your own feelings. Remember, it's okay to say no sometimes. You deserve to have your needs met too. Don't let someone bully you into doing things you don't want to do. If someone constantly resorts to guilt trips, it might be a sign they're using you to get their way. Sign four, the disappearing act, when it suits them. All right, buckle up for sign number four, the disappearing act, when it suits them. This describes someone who seems to conveniently vanish whenever things get tough for you. Maybe you're going through a breakup, facing a work deadline, or dealing with a family issue. But where is this person you thought you were close to? Radio silence. They might resurface later, all apologies and empty promises, but their absence speaks volumes. True friends are there to support you through life's ups and downs. They're the ones who pick you up when you fall and celebrate your victories with you. Someone who disappears during difficult times might not be as invested in the friendship as you are. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of virtue and acting with integrity. A friend who embodies these principles will be reliable and trustworthy, showing up for you even during challenges. Remember, true friends are there through thick and thin, not just when things are easy. If someone consistently vanishes when you need them most, it might be a sign they're using the friendship for their own convenience. Sign five. The taker, not the giver. All right, for our final sign, we're looking at the taker, not the giver. This describes someone who consistently takes advantage of your generosity without offering anything in return. Are you constantly the one lending money, offering rides, or doing favors for this person? Do they ever seem to reciprocate? Maybe they make empty promises to pay you back or help you out next time, but those promises never seem to materialize. Healthy relationships are built on reciprocity. People should be willing to contribute and support each other. If you feel like you're constantly giving without receiving, it's a clear sign you're being taken advantage of. Stoicism teaches us about fairness and justice. A taker, not a giver, disrupts this balance. Remember, it's okay to expect fairness in your relationships. You deserve to be with people who appreciate your generosity and are willing to give back. So, there you have it. The five signs you might be being used by someone. By recognizing these red flags and applying the principles of Stoicism, you can build stronger, more balanced relationships. Let's take a deep breath. As we discuss these signs, maybe a light bulb went off in your head. Perhaps you recognized a pattern in your own relationship. It can be tough to admit that someone you care about might be using you. But here's the thing. Realizing this is actually a powerful moment. By recognizing these signs, you're taking control of the situation. You're no longer blind to what's happening. This awareness gives you the power to make a choice. Maybe you can have a conversation with this person and set some healthy boundaries. Maybe you need to take some distance from the relationship. Or in some cases, you might need to walk away completely. There's no right or wrong answer here. The important thing is that you prioritize your own well-being and build relationships that are healthy and supportive. Remember, you deserve to be treated with respect and consideration. Don't let anyone take advantage of your kindness. You are strong, capable, and worthy of genuine connections. All right, let's wrap things up. Today, we explored five signs you're being used by someone. We talked about the one-way street relationship, the fair weather friend, the guilt tripper, the disappearing act when it suits them, and the taker, not the giver. Remember, healthy relationships are built on mutual respect and reciprocity. If you're constantly giving without receiving, feeling emotionally drained or manipulated, it might be a sign you're being used. But the good news is, you have the power to change that. By setting boundaries and prioritizing your own well-being, you can build stronger, more fulfilling connections. Remember, self-respect is key. Don't be afraid to say no, and don't settle for relationships that leave you feeling depleted. You deserve to be treated with kindness and consideration. If you found this video helpful, leave a comment below and let me know. And if you're interested in learning more about stoicism and building healthy relationships, stick around for future videos. Thanks for watching, and remember, always be strong, be kind, and be true to yourself.